So you might recognize uh, what I have in front of you right now. This is the sprite sheet uh, for the terrain of uh, Minecraft uh, titled terrain.png. And this is literally uh, all the uh, block textures used in Minecraft uh, in one image. Uh, and what Minecraft does when it runs, it loads each of these images individually. Minecraft basically chops up all these 16 by 16 images and then you know sets them to their respective block slash item. You know, there's some items here like torches. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. This is called a sprite sheet. You'll also see these uh, purple pink kind of spots. They're just blank spots. Okay, I'll explain them in just a second. So you're going to want to open up Photoshop. Uh, well, you can use uh, Paint.net, but I'm going to be using Photoshop. And we're going to create, hmm, let's see. Okay, so we're going to create a new 256 by 256 uh, image. And we're going to have uh, our textures 16 by 16, same size as each of these individual Minecraft textures. And this will fit as many as these on. Okay, so if you feel that your game is going to use, you know, about this many uh, textures that are the same uh, resolution, then yeah, this is good. Uh, you could do 128 by 128. Make sure it's a power of two. You could do 128 by 128. Uh, that'll fit like, you know, a quarter of this whatever just do what you feel is best so first thing we're going to do on our sprite sheet is uh, if you will notice uh, there's some blank spots you know well not blank but they're pinkish purple those are blank spots okay the reason why they're pinkish purple uh, is because they are the least commonly used colors if your uh, game uses a, a lot of pinkish purple colors you can feel free to pick another two colors but these are the common ones okay you can pick two of the colors okay so that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna fill our whole sprite sheet with these blank spots. Okay. Uh, now the colors are uh, for the purple. It is this. Okay. I'll probably put that in the description if I remember. Uh, we're gonna get the old pencil tool out. There it is. Make sure it's at one pixel. All right. Zoom in a shitload. Control plus, by the way, if you didn't know, it's zoom in. Alright, we're gonna fill 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Awesome. And now we'll get our pink as our secondary color. That's over here. Now you can see this pink is our secondary color. We we can swap colors using X, okay? We can highlight this area. Now I'm going to press Shift F5. Uh, yeah, seems good. Okay, and now it's filled it with the pink. So that's that's one 16 by 16 square. Awesome. Now uh, you're basically going to want to. There's probably a quicker way to do this, but whatever. Uh, you're basically going to fill in this whole thing, okay? So literally all you're going to do. Uh, I will have a pre-made one, you know, completely full of these in the description. Uh, but, f yeah. If you want to do it yourself, feel free, but I will have mine in the description. But yeah, I'll, I, I guess I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so I'm finally done. It actually didn't take me that long, surprisingly enough. But yeah, I'm done. And I'll have this, what you see, this right in front of you now, uh, I'll have this in the description. If I don't, then just remind me. Okay. So, let's just make our first texture and second texture. We'll make four textures, okay? They're literally going to be red. Uh, literally just going to be a splosh of red and a splosh of green and whatever. So, it's literally just... Here's the start, okay? There's always a big left... Yeah, this is the start, okay? Uh, we're just going to change this to a bright ass red. Yep. Alright, and there we go. We got our first texture. That's, that's really bright. Uh, we're going to do the same for here. And get a nice blue. Alright. I'm going to do the same for here. I'm going to get a nice orange. Yeah. And we're going to do the same for here. <coughs> Get a good green. 
Alright, so now we got our bright ass colours in our uh, sprite sheet. So, let's go ahead and save this. Uh, Control, Alt, Shift, S. No? Yes. Okay, it's just taking its time. Uh, we're going to select PNG24 for the best quality. And so I'm going to save it in the images. And then here, sprite sheet. Awesome. Let's go into our Eclipse workspace. Alright guys, it's very, very, very simple from here, okay? We just get our sprite sheet, okay? We open up our Android project, assets, drag it over, okay? Now it's in there, okay? So, let's set up our sprite sheet as a texture. Okay, so this is the file, okay, that we're loading, and then we're going to be getting the red block from this file, okay, we're going to be cutting up this file, we're going to be getting the red one, the blue one, and if you don't know how I did that, uh, just copy and paste the line from above underneath is control alt down, uh, it also works uh, control alt up, alright. Just a quick little tip. Uh, orange and green. Alright, so let's, let's set them up. Uh, so, sprite red equals new sprite. Um, we're going to be getting it from the texture sheet. But we're not done yet. Here, you know, you can see we've only got one parameter for the sprite, but we can also give it more if we want to. And we're going to give it uh, an X, so O. Because if we open this up, you can see that this texture starts at O, okay, the O coordinate. I'm just going to close that. Starts at O, and the X starts at O on the Y, it's 16 by 16. And that's it. We don't need to flip it because it's just a full color block. We're going to do the same for blue. I'm not going to bother with the rest. In fact, I will. Sheet and this starts from X16. Yeah? And Y O. Because look, uh, just in case you didn't get it, this starts from X0, right? This is 16 pixels uh, wide. So this, by logic, she'll start with uh, X16. Yeah? Yeah, I'm not going to bother with the rest because it's literally just. Uh, this one starts with 32, this one starts with 48, just keep adding 16 as you go along. So yeah, awesome, now we've got our red sprite and our blue sprite, now we just need to draw them. And again, very simple code here. Assets, we've done this before. Sprite red, whoops. Sprite red. We're going to roll that at like, I don't know, 2 for 6 by 2 for 6. And Assets. Dot sprite blue. Five twelve, five twelve. And yeah, you can see the red one just there, and you can see the blue just on the E. So yeah, awesome. We did it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next trial. Bye bye.